this has been a hard fought battle. And uh, we are so grateful for somebody fighting the battle. Amen. For too long, we've had nobody standing up for us. And we've had been screaming and yelling, and nobody would step forward and fight this battle. But Ken Paxton did. And I am so grateful. And let me tell you, the state of Texas and the conservative movement is more unified, more cohesive. We communicate more. Think of the GOP Tea Party conservative leadership around the state of Texas, conservative organizations that came together for one cause. We did. And it is not in vain. We're leaving here stronger and more galvanized than ever before. And we have Ken Paxton to thank for that. And you need to know what took place because you put your time, your money, your talents to use for this race and it was not in vain and so we look forward to hearing from ken ken thank you so much for being our hero and for running thank you so much thank you guys I, I would be lying if i didn't tell you i wasn't disappointed i i, I when i decided to get into this race i got in to win and i knew i was going against an incumbent i knew it would be difficult but you know what? What I really appreciate, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate this, the fact that you guys got involved. And um, my friends here from Allen, Texas, who got involved early with me, I just, it, it's, it's amazing to me. I, I just can't even explain it. See, I have never seen anything like this. And I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And I, I don't want you to quit. And, oh, no. <laughs> I will tell you this, there are some, there are some representatives that, that worked with me literally night and day. They were on conference calls with me every night from 10 till 1 in the morning. You can ask my wife, Angela, who's back here, who has suffered through the last few months of my children. <laughs> every night they were on the phone with me. We were trying to figure out you know, how to win, how to do it. And um, they were my closest friends in this. And they, they stuck with me knowing that there's, there are consequences for sticking with somebody who's not the incumbent. They took a tremendous risk, risk to their own personal status in, in Austin, and I have such admiration for people like Wayne Christian and Jody Lobenberg and Tan Parker and Brian Hughes and Dan Flynn, and, and I could list others. I'll tell you, this morning was tough. I was ready to go to the floor. I told my group yesterday when, when, um, when we lost the caucus, very disappointing. We didn't have a secret ballot, which I was hoping we would have. And so it changed the dynamic, and the way they had us do it was really odd. But there was not a secret ballot. And so it became difficult for some of these people to vote for the non-incumbent. I understand that. That's what happened. And so we all went off into a room with Chisholm and our, our, our people, and I was willing to help him. They decided that they wanted me to keep going. We got a commitment from everybody there to stay in it and to, to work. And about an hour before I got on the floor, we saw, I saw the press release where Chisholm had left us. And he took a few people with him, and we decided, you know what, instead of going down in a, in a negative direction, I wanted the opportunity, I wanted the opportunity to address the floor and, and make the point that, that we're not done. And make the point that, that this is just the beginning. If I had just let them nominate me, I would not have given a speech. I would have lost. The same vote that you saw on the floor, that Leo Berman, thankfully, thank you, Leo, got a, got a record vote. I was going to lose by that vote, but I wanted the opportunity to turn this into a positive, and I mean that sincerely. You guys know it's not about me. It's not about Wayne. It's about the cause. It's about doing the right thing. It's about what we believe in, and I wanted to communicate the message to the entire floor that we needed to go forward together, and that this is, me losing is nothing. It's nothing. Me, what we need to do is work together. You guys need to pay attention to what's going on, and you need to keep your representatives accountable, because I promise you that will make a difference. They know you're out there. They know you're out there. So, so I am disappointed. I am sorry that I lost. I wish I could have won, but I promise you this. I worked as hard as I possibly could. You can ask my family if I did not work my tail off the last two months to do, do everything I could to win. So, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, because I promise you this, this guy right here won't, and we won't. So, please...
stay in touch with us. Tell us what you need. We're here for you. And God bless you. And I think that um, Wayne wanted to say a few words as well.